Rachel with COA again, and we just did a sit-stay review and because COA tends to go down, um, into a down on his uh, sit-stays a bit too much. But now we're going to work on just down. When I did his review the other day, um, he wasn't really going down right away when I told him to, and I had to pull out the treat. Now, um, I used treats a lot in our previous sit stay video to really reinforce that. However, you need to kind of, uh, through working with them, you'll find the line between giving them treats to really encourage that behavior you want and weaning him off of treats so he doesn't become treat dependent. Because you don't, you want him to be obedient all the time whether you have treats or not. So if you see something he's struggling with, sometimes you want him to give him extra treats to encourage him to do it correctly. But other times, you know, especially when it's a command that he really knows, um, you don't want to use treats so much because you don't want him to be dependent on that. So, I'm going to get him up into a sit. Come on, go. And we're going to be working on just the down. Go on, come on. Sit. No, no, no. Okay. <laughs> He's going into a down right away. Sit. Good boy, Tim. Good boy, Tim. Come on, sit. 
gotten a little bit better with it. Just use a simple hand signal. This was Rachel and Koa, and we're working on down without treats.